Hello everyone, right, so, as mentioned in the Merc Warder video, I, I like those kind of walls that I put together, but because I'm going to be doing san the Sanctuary Walls next, I wanted something a little bit crisper and less raidery for Sanctuary, basically, and also another set of walls for you guys to make that may be a little bit easier to do. So this is my Advanced Walls 2.0. Right, so those rugs on underneath those fences have a point, but we need to do something else first. Right, so, what we need to do first, let's get a ladder. How high do we want this? About what? There? Yeah, that'll do. Right, one second, check the height. Check the height. I'm making it about half the length of a thing. Right, this is actually going to be a tower. This is our tower at the edge. Random, random tower. Now, I'm not going to... Oh, actually, fuck it, I will. I wasn't going to use repeating surfaces so I could do this quickly. But that would be a complete travesty. And I can't do that. Right. So next... We need to... Can I do it this way? No, no, I can't do it that way. You can't do it that way, mate. You can't do it that way, right. Next, we need to... New surface. Uh, right, um, cool. Now, is this going to work the way I want it to work? Or is it going to be way too... Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. It's alright. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Now, so what this is, is, the reason why I'm doing this little part of the edge, this is um, this is going to be a tower at the edge of the walls, basically. Bump, bump, let's make it three across. Get two more. Now, normally the top level I will actually alternate as well, but I can't be asked to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, I could do it like that, but you don't want to do it like that, because that looks like wank. So the walls are going to be a little bit higher than the tower, but it's not an issue with the tower. Because the tower is actually going to have one of these in it. However, we basically want those in line with the bottom one, not the top one. Right, so that's that part done. And don't worry about the tower floating, it's all good. Yeah, calm, calm the fuck down, yeah. We can do the same thing over here, actually. Let's do that now. So we can... This will allow us to make sure we get everything correct. So obviously normally they'll be a lot longer. However, I just wanted to kind of demonstrate the technique. You don't have to build the tower first. It just, just makes the whole thing a lot easier for your own kind of, you know, checking your heights and things like that. Like, could I even just do that now? I guess. Why didn't I do it with this again? I don't know why I didn't do the foundation to begin with. I, I just... Shut up, alright? I wasn't thinking. <laughs> right, anyway, this is the tower. Let's put one there. Um, And we'll just put a flat wall on this side for now. Because I need this as easy to work with as possible. Right, so. Towers. Voila. Wall. Right, cool. Okay, the wall. Now... The wall is rather straightforward. I want to make it out of wood. Get it as close as we can. It needs to be in line with you. Yep, perfect. Because you want the inside to be as. Okay, so we need to get it closer. Right. Perfect. Right, so that's the bottom level of the wall. Trust me, this looks good. It looks grand, even, yeah? You know that word that I like saying? It looks that, basically. Now, you can actually... That's weird. Did that just straighten itself out? Mm. How peculiar. Okay, so getting it 
the b hardest part you're going to get is getting it so it's completely straight, which is why I kind of try and do this as as big a chunks as possible, because that was just flat out easier to do. What are you doing? What what are you doing? Stop in the knob. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, okay. That was stupid, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Is that very important? The bottom is the bottom level isn't actually as important as the top level. The top level is the important one. Right, so that is the bottom section of the wall done, and the tower bits done. Right, now the next technique is where all we get so clevers and shit. Right, now there are various ways you can do this. I learned my way, or rather was reminded because I had a different way, I can't remember how I did it, however, I recently watched a video by Nostalgic Lily, and she had a fantastic way of doing this, which worked wonders. Link to her channel is in the Hujima flip. Give her some love, as she also has mad building skills. I'm gonna do it side. Seriously, her builds are insane. Most of you probably know who she is. But she also uses very, very awesome lighting with her settlements as well. That makes me rather jelly. Cool. Right, so. Oh. I have a little bit of a trouble. We have a knobhead. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a bit of a... Right, so this needs to go to the centre one, doesn't it? It does. Which will actually make keeping it straight significantly easier, so that's alright. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I might have to put those towers in last. Potentially. Oh wait, no, we're going green. This part's the fiddly bit. This this is this is the moment of truth part basically. You have to get it so it Possibly might have been easy to put those towers on afterwards, but whatevs. Voila. Now, it doesn't matter how close it is to that. Right. Oh, we're not finished, by the way, but there's a point to those, yeah. All right, so that is the back done. Let's do the front. Do I have one? So let's... You can use metal. I, for some reason, I decided to use wood, because I, I actually don't know why I decided to use wood. Um, really, to be honest, I, I wasn't really thinking. But whatever. Can't control me. Oh fuck it, I'll do it this way. Doesn't really matter. It's not the point. <laughs> I'm showing you the technique. Okay. Okie dokie dokie doke. So let's do the front of said walls. As you can see, what the way I'm doing this, you can literally, were you so inclined, to pretty much do a massive section of wall straight off the bat. And I heartedly encourage this because it saves time. Though it does make it harder for you to kind of get the angle straight. See, the, the, the longer it gets, the harder it is to get it straight. Plus it's harder. There we go. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is making sure it's touching the top. You see the top part there? That's the most important thing. I could actually make it lower, which is what I'm going to do, because I want to put some railings on the front. Okie dokie. See what I've done so far. Now, I have obviously repeated the structure le the surface a little bit, but you won't see the bottom, so that's not much of an issue. Right, let's quickly do the back now. Da -da -da -da. You're the back ones, right? Yes. Come here. Initially, I shot this tutorial. I actually did the rugs during the tutorial, and I realised how mind-numbingly boring that was, so I redid it with said rugs, and I hadn't added the towers on, and I hadn't got them straight. So basically, the reason why we're doing the back ones is this is going to look like it's actually supported. So you have the fences facing this way, so you've actually got supports on the back of the wall. Ha 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 ha. And also only... Well, I mean, you can if you don't really have to listen to me, but I mean, I'd recommend only using these two styles. Like, don't use the big fat one with the tyres, just to be honest, because it's just 
he doesn't look as good from the back. Right. Uh huh. Oh uh ho -huh. uh ho. Oh ho ho. It doesn't really matter how straight they are, actually, as you can see, because it's just there to kind of make it look like it's supported. So there's the back with its supports. Let's take those rugs off. Stop you from shaking. I don't think it was shaking, but it's a force of habit now. Oh -ho! This is actually looking a lot better than I thought. I haven't actually finished this before. I was thinking of this today, and i am kind of been playing Salt and Sanctuary all day, so I'm running a little late. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, right, I know how to do this, but I don't have enough time to test out of whether it actually is going to look any good or not. I was sure it was, but I wasn't, you know, 100%. So, yay, it looks good. Woohoo. Winning. This looks cool. And so you can imagine it, like... And the reason why I um, made it so the height is a little bit, like it's not actually two boards high, is to um, accommodate any weirdly shaped land you may have. Because I said, the bottom levels aren't important to the point where you could even, even not put those bottom parts in. So if you ever have an instance, say, where you've got somewhere like, I don't know, um, green top or something like that, where the land is really, really uneven, just do this level and then just make sure your fences are a lot tighter on the inside and then you don't have to worry about the the kind of middle, the top bottom level. That's where your walls can always be the right height. Um, now, these look fine on the outside. As I said, these are more just to add a little bit of texture. Ha 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 ha! Motherfucker! And also, I haven't put any steel in this one, but you could put steel if you want. Well, that mat is gone. Oh, wait, no. Right, let's add the top bar. Now, in hindsight, and it might not be viable in this instance, but I haven't put any railings or top floor parts on yet. I'm really chuffed with this. This looks awesome. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm just going to put any fucking fence up there. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, fuck's sake, you know what? I don't really give a shit. Getting up there isn't important. You guys can figure that out yourself. Oh, wait, no. I, I'd literally forgotten how to make my upper floors. Why? Because shut up, that's why. Right, I'll just do this properly. Someone will complain. Probably me. See? 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 Ah! Ah! Look good. You get them both sides if you like. It really doesn't matter. Random railings. Do do do. And these have a little bit more of a, I don't know, a heartier feel to them. I don't know if they, if it makes sense. You know, it just kind of looks a little bit cozier. But there we go. These are my advanced settlement walls 2.0. So you don't have to put the bottom level on if you like. But they're a little bit easier to do, and obviously I've put them a little bit closer together with the towers. Um, I'd recommend him putting towers on there just to kind of break them up, maybe do it every four or five. I hope you guys found that useful. These will be the walls that will be surrounding Sanctuary. As you can see, they've got a little bit more of a battlement vibe to them, which is what I wanted. You know, you could even pretty much just take parts off here. Add, well, maybe if you've got them a little bit lower, you could actually add some, which I probably will do in Sanctuary, to be fair, is you can add actual, you know, guard towers. We can just put the guard towers on the towers here. Maybe it'll look a bit better, actually. But yeah, have you guys found that useful? Um, I'm going to be doing the Sanctuary Walls video this weekend. It'll just be me just basically making the Sanctuary Walls recording a bit how we've done Merc Water basically um and I'll also be doing a gameplay video of something possibly Salt and Sanctuary because it's fucking awesome and you should all be playing if you've got a PS4 it is cool right anyway talk to you love people soon any questions any comments leave a comment here as always follow me on Twitter and you guys enjoy your weekend take care